She bought it for $2 and it sold for $710. Can you believe nobody bought that at the yard sale? And she sold it for $249.99. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items were shared by Bolo Buddies Facebook members. So I posted this, share your best July bolo in my Facebook group and invited everyone to share their best bolo. So let's get started here. And if you're not in my Facebook group, this is what it looks like. Head on over. We are at 90,000 members. That is absolutely crazy. We are so close to 100,000. So if you're not over there, go down to the description. I have a link tree. You can click on that and you can go over to the Facebook group. Sold for 190 plus shipping on Mercari. Paid $4 at the Goodwill for it. Rock Band 4 Wireless Fender Jagger Blue guitar controller for Xbox One. This is what it looks like. So four bucks into 190, but man, oh man, I would not want to ship that. How about you? How many of you shy away from things that are awkward and weird to ship? Guilty. Okay. Bought at a local yard sale for 25 cents, put on auction for first week with no bids, but tons of watchers. Took a best offer of $500 after listing as a buy it now the following week. What? It is a magic photo ret snapshot watch camera, original box instructions, book in 10 from 1893. What? Wow, that's awesome. Three part bolo. I bought this vintage flatware at a local thrift for either 10 cents or 25 cents a piece. All sold to the same buyer within 24 hours of listing for full asking price. A total of 64 total for the three listings. 10 pieces of stainless flatware altogether. Did my research using the photo identification tool on the replacements website and this particular pattern didn't even have a true name. Hmm. Only a number code. I hear people say all the time that flatware is a waste of time unless it's sterling, but I sell stainless flatware lots and certain plated pieces for an incredible profit margin all the time. It helps if I can get them for so little at a thrift store. One of my favorites to sell. So I wonder, photo identification tool on the replacements website. I wonder if that's replacements.com. I know that you can sell, like they teach, like sell dishes and stuff to them. Maybe they have a like Google Lens over there. I don't know. She didn't really elaborate on that. So if anybody knows, let me know in the comments or if you're watching, let us know down below. I'm a resell it is who sold this one. This is his YouTube channel. Go and sub him up. And he is a new Bolo Buddies member, which means he has joined Bolo Buddies memberships at level two to be featured in this video where I pop up his YouTube channel and I will link it down below. So go give him a follow. He has awesome editing skills, really cool reseller content. He's like sourcing in Thailand. Now that is cool. And how many people are doing that on YouTube? Not many. So go check him out. I bought this from a flea market in Thailand for $4.50. Comps showed 40 to 45 shipped. I knew that was underpriced because the unit that goes that goes to this was listed at 3k. What? So it's a remote for a high dollar uh, audio master recorder. Uh, he said, I listed the remote for $199 and accepted an offer for $179 plus shipping, sold in 11 days. So he was really, really smart here. He did look up comps, but he's like, you know what? I'm going to see what this goes to and I'm going to see what that is selling for. And because that was selling for $3K, he listed the remote higher. So go over to his channel and get more reseller tips like that. All right, this one's mine, you guys. This took oh, forever to sell. I do sell these in lots of two or three or even singles all the time. But I was doing, I think this was with Dad Planet. Uh, go check out Dad Planet if you have not already. Him and I do Goodwill Ben's battles or um, collaborations, whatever you want to call it. 
And I think this was one of our collaborations. I don't, I don't remember what we called it, so I can't tell you which one it was. But I picked up all of these uh, VTech GoGo Smart Wheels at the bins. They were just all there, and I was just grabbing them. Now, one thing that's kind of bad about them, they are kind of heavy. And at my Goodwill bins, I think at the time it was either $1.79 or $1.89 a pound. Now it's $1.99, or at least the last time I was there. It may have gone up again. It's been a while since I've been to the bins. So, uh Let's say I've got 10 or 15 in these and I, there's 24 of them and I sold these for $81 and 25 cents plus shipping. Now they did take a long time to sell. I did, I think I did have a few people that asked me to part it out and I was like, no, once I get them all together like that in a lot, I've had people ask me to part things out on Mercari and I do it and then they don't buy it. So I kind of am a hard no when people ask me to take my listing apart once I've already listed it because it creates more work and more time and I don't have a lot of extra time to be parting things out that somebody might change their mind about. So let me know what you guys do in that situation. If somebody, like if you have a bunch of Barbies together. Uh, there was one time I had Monster High dolls over on Mercari and I just kept getting request and request after request for specific Monster High dolls. Or they were brats. Maybe they were brats. It was one of the two. So I did end up deciding to part those out on Mercari and they did sell better parted out. So it really just depends on the item. If you're not selling plush and toys over on Mercari, definitely consider cross posting your items over there. I use List Perfectly. You can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies to get 30% off your first month. There's a demo video down below if you want to check it out. But um Toys and plush, I think, do really well on Mercari. I'm sure lots of other things do well on Mercari also, but those are things that I really like to sell. So that's one thing that I can kind of tell you definitely works. And if you sign up for Mercari with my referral link down below, you're going to get $10 when you join Mercari and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari, which is easy to do. So that's $30 that you can reinvest into your business by buying something on Mercari to resell. See how that works? All right, this one comes from Nina's Jewel. She is also a Bolo Buddies member. She is fantastic. Go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Check out her eBay store. And she purchased this vintage 1997 comic book graphic t-shirt at a garage sale for $3. Found it buried in a box along with another vintage tee they sold several months ago for almost $100. This one sold for a best offer of $168.68 and they received positive feedback. Look for single stitch. Yes, definitely. It is a 1997 men's extra large gray Todd McFarlane comic promo medieval spawn graphic t-shirt. Nice, nice bolo. Technically sold at the end of the June sale end of June sale, sold for asking price of $249.99 plus shipping. Listed high because it was a complete set. I helped a friend out by taking her leftover yard sale items to a donation store, but pick through the items, so no cost. Of course, you're going to pick through the items because that's what resellers do. Complete series of DVDs charmed in a unique book with descriptions between series. Can you believe nobody bought that at the yard sale? and she sold it for $249.99. Charmed, the complete series 49 disc book of Shadows Edition DVDs. That's awesome. All right. Just joined this group. Bought this, la this item last year for $15.99 at a local Goodwill here in Arlington, Texas. Finally decided to list it on eBay about a month ago. I had an asking price of 100 and 20 plus shipping at auction. Finally, someone put a bid in and it sold. Bolo for Jim Shore stuff. Yes, Jim Shore can be great. It's a 2005 Jim Shore Wicked Snow White Evil Queen Witch Statue Disney Showcase. Wow, this one is Disney and Jim Shore. Bolo. This one comes from Flippin' Hot Finds. She is a Bolo Buddies member and she is also on Whatnot. So check her out over there as well. If you guys are not on Whatnot, what are you doing? It's awesome. It's so fun. Come hang out with me on Bolo Buddies over there. All one word, lowercase. And you can find my link down below. And if you use that link to join Whatnot, you're going to get 
$15 of free money. So go use it, that link, and get your money and go buy something. It doesn't have to be from me, but if you want to come hang out in my live shows, that would be awesome. I can't wait to see you. Uh, paid $5 at my local thrift store, Honey Hole, after Christmas 2022. Christmas in July is starting. Listed Hugh and sent an offer for $97.75, which was 17% off. Department 56 North Pole Series. This is what it looks like. And if you guys are already following me and have come to some of my whatnot shows, let me know down in the comments because I know so many of you have come over and I just want to say thank you so much for the support. Even if you don't buy anything and you're just hanging out, thank you for being there. Thank you for just uh, coming over and showing me some love on a new platform. I really appreciate it. All right, here we go. Online YouTube purchase for $14 from Auctions For You. If you guys don't know who Auctions For You is, oh my goodness, where have you been? Under a rock? No, I'm kidding. I talk about her all the time. Auctions For You and Donatella Bottolino. Um, I have been purchasing from both of them for about four years and they sell to resellers. So I will link Auctions For You down in the description of the video. Go follow her. She said, um, and this was sold by Flippin' Hot Finds also. She said, sold to a previous jewelry buyer in South Korea on a counter offer. Listed for $69. Not a huge profit, but my buyer is happy and will most likely shop again. So it looks like she took a best offer of $54.50 and paid $14 for it. So to me, those margins are still really good for sitting on your couch and having the item delivered to you. <laughs> Gotta love that. And auctions for you is also over on whatnot, but her main focus is definitely YouTube. Bolo Buddies member Nooks, Crannies, and Irresistibles. I love that eBay name. July is still young yet, but this was a nice little sale. Paid $1.19 at the Goodwill. Sold quickly for 15% sale price of $41.68. Thanks, Courtney, for all of the education and all you do. You're welcome, and thank you for being a Bolo Buddies member. And it is a plush realistic dog, white West Highland Terrier stuffed animal, and it's from Kmart. And the Rebel reseller will talk about in her videos getting items from Kmart, Walgreens, CVS, all of the exclusives and how they sell. Even um, Walmart items will sell. So she specializes in plush. So if you're not following the Rebel reseller, check her out. She's got a great YouTube channel. Picked up this Cabbage Patch Kid while on vacation at a thrift store for $8. Looked it up when I got home and he was rare. Others got had gotten $89. I listed mine for $99 and it sold in three weeks for full price. It is a Cabbage Patch Kid's $19.89 and that's all I can read. But this is what it looks like. I went to the Goodwill bins and started digging through the toys and in the very bottom I spotted some littlest pet shop animals and accessories. I dug and dug and scored a ton, but I'm short. So after hanging by my waist over the top of the bin for a while, I had to stop because my stomach hurt so bad. <laughs> I mentioned to my daughter what I had seen and she ran over and jumped in, jumped in, like jumped in. Oh my goodness. Finding a full grocery bag of them along with a bunch more accessories. Another man noticed what she was grabbing and started pushing her out of the way, trying to get as many as he could. Too late, dude. Or we got pretty much all of them. Sold this lot of 80 animals for a closing bet of 125. I probably paid about four for all of it. The accessories lot is up for bid right now as well. That is so funny. I just want to know if her daughter actually physically like was not touching the floor and was inside of the bin. I just got to know. Oh my goodness. Bought this 2003 Hello Kitty Uno game in a collector's tin from an estate sale this spring for $2. Sold on Poshmark for $76. My profit after fees and cost of goods was $58.80. A lot of people walk past the card games. However, these small finds can bring big profits. Other Uno collabs can also sell for big money. Thank you, Courtney, for giving us a forum to spread knowledge and bolos. Kim the Prairie Picker. Thank you, Kim. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. You guys, uh, check out that. Uno and Hello Kitty. Bought at the Salvation Army for $2. Almost left, but realized I forgot to check a shelf. 
This was hidden behind other stuff, but it looked well made. Took a best offer of 710 due to flaws within a couple weeks of listing. The item had flaws. She bought it for $2 and it sold for 710 and she got it at the Salvation Army. What? You want to know what it is? It is a Olic Munich made number 81 T Karner porcelain rare Munchener Kindle child rare art. Yeah, I totally Read the, you'll have to read it because I said it all wrong. All right. This one comes from Amazing Steals and Deals. He is also a Bolo Buddies member and he's a huge money Bolo finder. And I'm going to share with you one of his Bolos in this video. And you're going to have to go to the next video to see the other two items he sold because wow, wow, wow. That's a, the, every time I see his Bolos, I have to, I have to look for my socks. I have to look for them because his bolos will knock off your socks. Check out his eBay store. It is linked down below. He has amazing items. You ready for this? Paid $40 at an estate sale. Never heard of the brand, but looked it up. Sold in one day for a best offer of $850. Are you kidding me? $40 into $850. He finds the best things at estate sales. It's an OPA. O-P-P-O. U-P. I'm sorry, UDP-203 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player with remote near mint condition. What? All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Go and join my Facebook group if you're not in it already and share a bolo. And let me know which bolo was your favorite down in the comment section. Thanks for my... Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Bolo, 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 bolo.